I never thought that this photo of me at six years old with my sister and a Spice Girls impersonator would ever make it on TV, but here we are, okay? So what does this have to do with the Great American Baking Show and its season premiere right here tonight on ABC7? Well, everything, because one of the hosts is Emma Bunton, also known as Baby Spice from the Spice Girls, and I, yes, me, got to interview her, but don't worry, this, me, I was totally professional. Look who is on the screen. Probably one of the best Brits of all time to talk to us about it. We are looking at host and Spice Girl, Emma Bunton. Hello to you. Okay, pause. Yes, this is an interview about the baking show, but before we get there, this is me in 1998 at my Spice Girl's birthday party with a uh, baby Spice. <laughs> okay, let's rewind to right before this interview started. Okay, cool. I love this woman. I'm so excited. Emma? Hi, can you hear me? Hello. Hi, this is Jovina Fortson at ABC7. Good morning. I tweeted a photo of what I thought was you and I together when I was six years old at my Spice World themed birthday party. My mom hired a celebrity lookalike and I thought it was you. No! <laughs> <laughs> at age six, so you'll have to look later. It is not you by any means. I'm gonna check that out. Oh my gosh, this is really making my six-year-old sauce life right now. You have no idea. <laughs> All right, so now you know, back on track. First off, this show is a bit different. It doesn't have that scary, intense feeling that I think a lot of cooking shows have. It's very warm, and I don't know, is that why people are so obsessed with this franchise? Because they are. Oh, it's, it's such a warm show, but actually, I think the contestants have felt that pressure while they're in that kitchen, and uh, you still got Paul Hollywood in there, who's a little bit scary. I never look him in the eyes. <laughs> um, but, you know, the contestants have had an amazing time. They're passionate about what they do, and, uh, yeah, I get to taste everything, which is just, you know, a dream job. It's like heaven for me. It absolutely is under that big white tent, which is also intimidating. What is your advice to the bakers on the show and maybe even some people that are watching at home and maybe wanting to try it out because you throw things in there like olive oil, some crazy stuff that our bakers are not used to? But do you know what? I, I, I feel like I'm not a great baker. I mean, I'm learning and I'm trying. I've learned so much from these amateur bakers and I've learned so much from Paul and Sherry. But my advice would be, you know, to kind of breathe, have fun. You know, these amateur bakers created some amazing things. I just can't wait for you to see it because um, it's, it's tough in that. It is tough in that kitchen. It's hot. Um, but they, you know, they pulled it out of the bag. Um, yeah, I've, I've just learned so much from them. It's been amazing. Um, it, was there anything surprising to you? You being a part of this and it's the holidays too so the stakes are extra high when you're thinking about what you're gonna put on the table yeah I mean the holidays for me is my favorite time of the year I feel like I had the best time so um, I've I'm quite, I was quite shocked at how emotional everyone gets you know there was tears there was tantrums there was falling cakes you know right at the last second because you you get a time limit on this show and um you know so it, it was quite intense but uh, we laughed a lot as well um you know yeah there's lots of things you wouldn't expect to happen in the kitchen that do um so you're like you're gonna have to watch and just yeah it, it's an incredible show Okay, Emma, well, I have a little challenge for you since you're into the game shows and you know a little bit about baking and I think about some spices, if you know where I'm going with this. Okay, so here's the challenge for you. Hey. You can do it. <laughs> All right, so can you name, and this Good. is totally up to you, which actual spice ingredient you think each Spice Girl represents? For example, would Victoria be pepper? I'm just throwing it out there. What do you think? <laughs> Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to have to go for a bit of pepper, a bit of hot, hot, you know, hot spice. I'm going to take that one. Um, uh, Mel, okay, Mel B. Oh, Mel B. <laughs> she would be paprika. Mm. You know, something a bit edgy, edgy and fun. Sporty spice. Do you know what? Sporty spice is sweeter than you think. Oh. So it would have to be maybe cinnamon or something. Yeah, she's a cutie. Okay, okay. I like 
like it. All right, Jerry, where are we going? Oh, Jerry. Oh, my. Well, I'm going to stick with ginger for her. It's a good one. <laughs> good it's a ginger. strong, powerful spice. Okay. And the best for last, baby spice. What spice are you? Oh, what would I be? <laughs> um, can I be a mix? Absolutely. A, a mix of hot and sweet and spicy, and I'm going to throw it all in there. Okay. I was thinking powdered sugar, but I like the mix. I wasn't going that route. <laughs> I'm here for it yeah, all. Yeah, there's a bit more to me than powdered sugar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love it. Emma, thank you so very much for joining us. Thanks, Emma. Mwah.